Welcome back, y'all. We're about to head to town. We're going to Walmart. I need to get a few things in there. While we're in there, we're gonna look at their spring and Easter stuff. Then we need to go buy Tractor Supply. And we might go buy the car wash. I'm hoping that Tractor Supply has chicks. That's what I'm hoping for. Gummies? Oh yeah, sweet gummy sour pop. Block pops. What is this, like a push pop? But block pop? Can hand me that Ooh. one? Which one do you want to see? This one? Oh, we have Oscar Mayer gummy snack pack. Chocolate bunnies. Oh, I forgot to look at the chocolate bunnies. Yep, mm -hmm. lots of chocolate bunnies. Little baby bunnies. Yeah, Little there's a Fruity Pebbles bunny right there. They have some already prepared baskets. Now the basket is cute. What's inside this one? Chocolates, cake, popcorn, and tea. I think that's the tea cup, I don't know. Make your own bunny donut kit. These are $12.96. It makes four bunny donuts. Make and shake stained glass cookie kit. That's cute. Those are $9.87. And then we have cast iron skillet cookie. With lots of marshmallows. Must be a marshmallow cookie. <laughs> Reese's Minute Mug Cake. I mean, these are cute just for the mugs. I mean, look at that. That is adorable. And plus, you get the cake. They also have this one. Oh, and a Hershey Kisses one. What? Cotton Candy Shake On. Shake it to make it. Hmm. Why we are so quiet? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that is the most Can adorable little mason jar mug I've ever seen. They have Pete's plush sets and a Peep's um, pancake skillet Ooh. set. Oh look, a chicken basket. Cute. Baskets, baskets everywhere. Lots of fun things here for $1.47. Gooey bath, slime soap, finger paint soap, <laughs> bubble bath and wand, bubble bath, bath squirter, these little canisters are cute, especially this one. I love that one. I bet this egg lights up. Does it light up? Nope, it doesn't light up, I don't think. Farm Fresh, pick your own. This is like the other thing that I got from Walmart. I think it was last year. All these little carrots are cute. Lots of colorful things over here. Look at these little birds, they're cute. Oh, you it, Mama. Yeah, I'm pulling it. <laughs> you trying to figure out who was pulling the buggy? Yeah, Sissy found a big bunny. I need a new tablecloth. I think I'm gonna get this yellow one. It'll pull in my yellows over there on the little coffee station. They also have these runners though. These are really pretty. I don't know if they're long enough for our table. Yeah, I don't think they're long enough, but they're really cute. They have these ones with the bunny on them too. They have some pretty pictures over here. Lemon ones, strawberries, smiley faces. I don't know. I don't know. The smiley faces are kind of funny. Like they, it feels like they don't fit in. It's one of those things. What doesn't fit in on kids' worksheets, you know? They have some new mainstays candles. Juicy watermelon, sweet apple, hazelnut cream, papaya passion, cranberry mandarin. These look like fun scents, but these mainstays candles, they don't really have a great throw, y'all. I'm just telling you, you can't smell them when they burn. They are cute though, especially the watermelon one. That's a cute jar. Okay, I gotta tell y'all about these little shake air freshener things down here. If you're walking through Walmart and smell something that smells really good and you don't know what it is, it's That's those. Oh. They smell so good. And so all you do is shake them and then you sit them somewhere and they're supposed to like keep that room or space fresh for several months. They're only $2.98 and you get two per pack. But yeah, they really work. We got a couple of them before and you can smell them through the pack. So you'll, sorry that one took my breath away a little bit. <laughs> this one smells like, it's for laundry room. That's what this one's for. <laughs> it smells like fresh laundry. But anyway, I mean, they smell up this entire section of Walmart, not just this aisle, this whole section. You'll smell it and it's like, you gotta be like Toucan Sam, follow your nose and find them. They're great. Fruity Oriental, this smells so good. And where is the other one that I got? This one, y'all, it's Fruity Floral. It smells, these are amazing. This one and this one, those are my favorites. They smell so good. If these had a handle on, they could be copying those Stanley cups everybody's after. Oh, these are on clearance for 1977. What do they look like? Oh, flowers. This cow one that I have is on clearance for 997, y'all. All right, here's what Manly's been waiting on. His blue red. ball popped the other day. You want a red one? He wants red. red. You want it to have stars or just red? Um, stars. Stars? 
this little Kool-Aid electric snow cone maker is on clearance for $11. I don't know how much it originally was, but that might be a good deal. All their fall and Christmas wax cubes are on clearance. These are only a dollar. And then the big, oh wait, this is only 62 cents. That's coconut sands, that's summer, what? Oh, oops, I dropped that. Cinnamon rolls, 62 cents. And these are the, this is a Lumi Scents. These other ones were the Sensationals. These Better Homes and Gardens ones, this is a big pack. It's on clearance for $4. Pumpkin apple muffins, this is a big one for only $1.52. Alright y'all, we are back home. I'm about to switch out my tablecloth that I got from Walmart. No chicks at Tractor Supply. We're struggling around these parts for getting some chicks at Tractor Supply. So, there is one more Tractor Supply that Titus is going to be going by tomorrow. So, I'm going to see if he'll stop by that Tractor Supply. Maybe they'll have some chicks. If not, we're going to be ordering them. I just wanted to be able to see them and pick them out, you know, instead of ordering them online. But, yeah. Anyway, I do get this stuff from Tractor Supply. They have really cute spring stuff. Uh, I'll show y'all next time we go in there. Lots of cute stuff. But, I got this. We're going to put this on the chicken coop sometime it says last one in is a rotten egg i thought this would be so cute for the chicken coop because manly is always saying last one there's a rotten egg when we're going to the chicken pen or anywhere wherever we're going he always says last one there's a rotten egg so they had another one that said tuck in service nightly at dusk or something like that and we always put them up you know right when the sun's going down i thought that one was cute too but anyway we got the rotten egg one and these i'm collecting kitchen towels <laughs> So this says if you feed them, they will come. And it has the little chickens down here and then it has one with just chickens all over it. That's it, that's all we got. Oh, and we got some shavings too. It's feeling spring. It's feeling spring out there, yep. Ty fixed his wheel. Oh, Ty fixed his wheel for you, was it messed up? Yeah, it was broken. All right, now it's time to cook supper. We're having leftovers, but we're also gonna make some macaroni and cheese. I've never made this recipe before. It's called the best macaroni and cheese, the best homemade macaroni and cheese ever. That's what it's called. We usually make a slow cooker mac and cheese or an oven baked macaroni and cheese. I think we've even made an instant pot macaroni and cheese. Our favorite one is the slow cooker or the oven baked, which we call macaroni and cheese pie. But anyway, we love our macaroni and cheese and we're gonna find out if this is the best ever. We also did like a, was it like a triple cheese macaroni and cheese? We've done that a few times. I've got some water heating up in the kettle over here. That's what that noise is. We're actually gonna cook the cheese sauce before we add it to the macaroni noodles. So right now I'm just cooking the noodles. While they're cooking, we're gonna go ahead and get the cheeses ready. These just need to boil for about six minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and set a timer. We need some oil, we need butter, and all-purpose flour. Did y'all answer that? No? Okay. <laughs> It was Titus, I'm sure. Let me try to call him back again. He doesn't have a good signal where he is. He keeps trying to call to ask what's for supper, I bet. Let's see if this is what he asks. He doesn't have a good signal. Preheat, oh, we need to preheat the oven to 350. Preheat oven to 350, lightly grease a three or four quart baking dish and set aside. Okay, we're gonna use our baked with love. I'm pretty sure this is a four quart. Okay, so we've got that done. We've got the oven preheating, cooking the pasta. All right, so when we cook the pasta, we're gonna drain it and then just drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil. Now the cheeses that we need are four cups of sharp cheddar, two cups of gouda. Now I just have this sliced gouda. It's gonna melt down in here, so we're, we're gonna go with that. I'm also gonna add in just a little bit of sharp cheddar jack. And we need Parmesan cheese, so let me get that out of the refrigerator real quick. There he is again. Let's see if we can get him this time. All right, the noodles were done. I just put them over to the side for now because I'm gonna go ahead and let this butter start melting. We need six tablespoons. There we go. We've got this turned down to medium. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit more because it's still hot where I just cooked the pasta. We're adding in a third of a cup of all-purpose flour. And we're just gonna whisk this for about a minute. 
Oh, you know what? I should have shredded my cheese, y'all. I'm getting ahead of myself over here. My kitchen helpers are both outside playing still. Okay, I'm gonna have to remove this from the heat while I shred my cheese real quick. I do not wanna do this by hand today, but I don't know where my other piece is to this, y'all. The kids have been helping me put stuff away. And like I've told y'all before, it turns into a treasure hunt. What, where is my piece to my cheese grater? I'm sure somebody knows where it is. They'll find it for me whenever they come in. I know where it is. Do you? Mm-hmm. It's just me and mainly in here right now. Where is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is a bunny. Cece threw that bunny, didn't she? Yeah. She did a good job. All right, back over here to the butter and flour. I put it back on the heat. We're gonna put in three cups of whole milk. We'll whisk those two cups in first. And then we'll add the other cup of milk and one cup of heavy cream. Okay, now we're just gonna keep whisking this until it starts to thicken and simmer a little bit. And then we're gonna put in some salt and pepper. We need four tablespoons of melted butter for the topping, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that melt in the microwave. Okay, we've got some bubbles coming up over here. We're gonna go ahead and put in some of the cheese, not all at one time, just a little at a time to get it melted in good. Oh, and the salt and pepper. In the original recipe, everything is supposed to be shredded, but we're gonna do it a little different since, you know. Our Gouda is in slices. Okay, this, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off, but leave it right here so it can keep on melting down the cheese. And we're gonna mix up the topping real quick. For the topping, we need a whole sleeve of Ritz crackers or whatever kind you have. These are, I think, the Aldi brand or something like that. We're pouring in the four tablespoons of melted butter, half a cup of grated Parmesan, quarter teaspoon of paprika. That's it for the topping. Now we'll bring the pasta over and go ahead and mix it with the cheese sauce. Bringing over the casserole dish, I sprayed it with a little cooking spray. We're gonna put in half of the macaroni and cheese mixture. Spread that out, and then we're gonna put down some of our slices of Gouda. Like I said, if you shred all your cheese, then you just have a mixture of the cheeses going on top here. I could have tried to shred this Gouda, in a, or I could cut it up into little pieces, but we'll just do it this way. If you've never had Gouda before, it is so good, especially on a grilled cheese or a cheeseburger, anything, it is great. Now we're gonna put down the rest of the macaroni. Now we're just sprinkling the topping all over the top. And then this is going in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes. Okay, this is called the best homemade macaroni and cheese. I don't know. Might, we'll see if it tastes like the best, but it does look like the best. Hey, you got some good looking stuff right there. Look at it right here, buddy. Yeah, I already showed them. You I did? showed them, yeah. <laughs> I like that little crunch it's got. Does it taste like macaroni from anywhere that you've had macaroni from? Kind of like Cracker Barrel almost, but. That's what it reminded me of a little bit too, is Cracker Barrel's macaroni. Yeah. Uh, that's really good. All right, y'all, the verdict is in. We finished eating supper. Got everything cleaned up, packed away the leftovers. Um, this has already been in the refrigerator for a little bit. And Jacob already got some seconds or thirds from it. Titus and Jacob and Tyler say that this is the best macaroni and cheese ever. It's their favorite of any of the macaroni and cheeses I've ever made before. Sissy and Jonah, however, do not love this one. They don't like the cracker stuff on top. And this is... Uh, I don't know how to explain it other than the word gritty. It's it's not gritty like that sounds bad, but it's not bad. It's uh it's not as much of a smooth macaroni and cheese. It's more of a you know you can kind of tell it's more of a gritty texture. 
that's not my favorite either. My favorite is still probably the slow cooker macaroni and cheese or the oven baked. So for some, it is in fact the best homemade macaroni and cheese ever. <laughs> for others, it's second or third best, but it's still good. Either way, it's really good. All right, this is going back in the refrigerator and it's time for lights out. <laughs> 